Today's video, we're gonna be doing a declutter of my makeup collection. We've got all kinds of stuff that we're gonna be going through. Let me start with eyeshadow palettes. Hi, hello, hi. <laughs> so I have a stack up on here on this table that I know I'm not gonna get rid of, so I'm just gonna go through them pretty quickly. I have the Colored Rain Vivid Pigments palette. Love this palette, not getting rid of it. I have the Zodiac palette. I don't use this one a ton, but every time I have used it lately, I really enjoy it and I still think it's a really good palette. So I don't wanna get rid of this one quite yet. I have my Midas Flower Bomb palette. I love it. This was the first palette from Midas that I bought and I'm a big fan. <laughs> it's so fun and bright. Like they've redesigned it since then. There's a new outer packaging that I honestly prefer to this one, but it's really fun, bright colors for summer and spring. Oh, this is my, one of my singles palettes. This is some like Tarte, ColourPop, Inglot shadows. These are just singles. Obviously that's going back. This is my other singles palette. It's my JD Glow palette. And I love it. Ooh, the Clown Blush palette. This one's really nice. I love this. It's very bright. It's incredibly bright, but that is sticking around. I have my Gimme Glow Grunge palette. This one's a really fun kind of like smoky neutrals. Actually really like Nirvana is a really nice like shimmery taupe. That's a fun shimmery taupe. Look at that. Ooh. Obviously I'm keeping my smoky glow palette because I love it so much probably like one of my favorite palettes of the whole year. It'll definitely be on my list. And then my Lunatic Cosmetic Labs palette is obviously sticking around because I use it almost every time I contour my face. Look at how much pan I've hit with this color. That's crazy. That's crazy. Now I can actually get into the drawer. I'm so good at organizing. Hello, palettes here. I have Kaleidos, what is this, five? Futurism five. This was the first Kaleidos palette that I bought and I really, really like it. That is staying. This one, what is this one? Kaleidos, Futurism two, Cyber Bronze. This one I really, really like. I feel like it's a really fun neutral palette. It just, it works really well. This red is really fun. This one I'm also keeping. Now this one, this one is the Sci-Fi Green. And this one's not a bad palette by any stretch of the imagination, like it's good. However, I have the Gemini palette from Melt and I use it a lot more and I like the formula on that palette more than this. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this one, but I do have a friend who is now just kind of building up her makeup collection that I am going to be setting some palettes aside and makeup for her to mail to her. So this will be going to a new home. Hmm. Ooh, I have a couple of quads from Midas as well. I have the decaf and the macchiato. This one is macchiato. It's a fun little green mustardy neutral quad. I do like that one. Decaf, also nice. I think I'm gonna keep both of these for now because I do like having a bunch of quads. I like quads in general, so keeping those. This is the, the one and only Kat Von D product that I still have. And I'm still keeping it. The Pastel Goth palette, like this is still good. Like I'm not getting rid of it. I still like it. I bought this years ago and the, the eyeshadows still work. So I'm fucking keeping this shit. Like <laughs> not throwing that away. Okay, so I have a handful of brights that I probably am not gonna use that much. So this is the NYX Ultimate Brights and it's a decent, Brights palette, like it's not a bad Brights palette. I just don't grab for it very often. I grab for other ones instead. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. And this one is also going to go to my friend because I do have the Christie palette, the Brights and the Christie palette, and then my Brights and my Sugar Pill palette. Yeah, I don't need this. This is also going to go to friend. Okay, another quad. So this was one of the only products from MAC that I probably bought in the last like six years. This is a quad from Patrick Starr from his spring summer collection he put out with Mac. It's fine. I feel like I could also give this to my friend. I don't use this one nearly enough. And this shade is a good transit. Like this is probably the only shade I would use that much. Like I use this blue a lot. Yeah, she's gonna appreciate color. Ooh, and then this blush also from Mac. I do actually like this blush more than the eyeshadow quad. So I think I will keep this and kind of put it back in my blush rotation because I do like this blush. Like this is a decent blush. It's kind of like a two-tone mauve -y thing. And I do like this. I'm just gonna take it out of this drawer. 
I have my Sugar Pill Mini Color Fun Size Palette. I love this palette. It is so fun. This is where I go usually for bright colors and I just, I love it. It's so cute. I definitely am keeping this, definitely keeping this. This sleek palette might need to finally go. I feel like this has made it through like three declutters and I've just held on to it for one reason or another, mainly because uh, a subscriber gifted it to me several years ago, but this is really old at this point. Oh, these just feel like, to I mean, yeah, these don't even like swatch nicely. Yeah, these are probably expired. These are definitely expired at this point. It's the sleek vintage romance. I don't even know how old this shit is. It's old as hell. I mean, it's old as hell. It's gonna be discarded. Next we have the newer Raw Beauty Christie and Pure palette. Um, I didn't buy it, but Smoky Glow ended up buying like two and then she got it in PR. So she sent this to me cause she didn't need three palettes and I w didn't want to sit on the Pure website and wait for it. So I do like this palette. I really like this palette. I actually used this earlier for a video. So yeah, I like it a whole lot. I didn't end up getting the ColourPop palette, but um, I do like this one. Ooh, Lemonade. Lemonade is such a fun palette if you love yellows. This is Lemonade from Midas. And on camera, I don't know if you can see it as well because it's kind of blown out, but there's the yellow tones. It's just gorgeous. Like it's got like kind of a yellowy greeny brown and more of like a lemon lime shade and then some golds. I love this yellow. If you love all yellow, definitely check out this one. I think these are the last two Midas products. Yeah, these are the last two Midas products. <laughs> I'm like, how many Midas eyeshadows do I have? Um, I have the Dawn and the Noon palettes. Uh, this one was sent to me in PR. I purchased this one and I really love these. These are really nice. This one is uh, for the lightest, fairest. And then this is just like one step darker. I love this contour shade specifically. Uh, these were made in collaboration with Neon MUA. If you want to purchase these on Midas.com, uh, if you use code Abby, A-B-B-Y, at checkout, you can get 20% off. And that is an affiliate link. So you can see how many damn Midas palettes I have and I like them. Keeping these. I have a couple of Juvia's Place palettes and I think I'm gonna get rid of one of them. And it's not gonna be Festival because I have used the crap out of Festival. And this mustard is probably my favorite mustard that I own. This is one of my favorite pinks. This shade is beautiful for an eyeshadow and for a blush. I'm not getting rid of this one. I love this eyeshadow palette. <laughs> I truly do. But I am gonna get rid of Zulu. Why? I just haven't used it much. Like it just hasn't gotten the love. And I think that I could give this to my friend. Yeah, I'm just gonna give this to her cause I just don't use this that much. And I think it's just the color story itself doesn't necessarily like speak to me very much. Cause besides the purple and the brown, there's not a lot of like deepening shades. And I just don't use this one enough to keep it in here. Girl, you were getting lots of brights. <laughs> Ooh, this lethal palette. I love this palette. I made this earlier in the year and I love it. I picked all these shades from the Lethal website and put them in this order. Beautiful, chef's kiss, love it so much. Keeping that. So I'm gonna put, start to put these back in this side. I used like cardboard boxes in here that I cut up to actually like hold up the palettes. I think I did a pretty good job. Next, we have my Kleana Aftershock highlights. Oh, these ones are so pretty, oh my God. These are so pretty. You can't even see on camera because there's like no base shade to it. So it's just all shimmer, but like, let's see if I can get these two. Maybe I'll turn this down a little bit. There, that's a little better. That's a little better. Still can't see it very well, but, or, but I love this little highlight quad. This is my Viseart palette. This was way too expensive for me to get rid of. And it doesn't take up a lot of space in here. I have included this in like makeup products I regret buying, mainly just for the fact that I don't use it so much. And I spent a lot of money on it. Like this was like $80, not on sale. So I think I got it. I got it during the sale, but I'm not getting rid of it, but I wouldn't recommend it because I don't think it's worth it <laughs> personally. <laughs> my one and only ColourPop. This is really gross and disgusting looking, but I could depot these theoretically if I took apart the palette because it's all white. Um, this is several years old at this point, but I wanna keep it because it's it's my only ColourPop palette. And I do like having it as like a frame of reference. And besides Modern Renaissance, I really don't have any other like straight up just warm palettes. <sighs> That's hard to believe. And then I have my Moonchild highlight palette from Anastasia. And I do still like this highlighter palette. I do, I, I do have some highlighters in mind that I'm gonna gift to my friend, but I do still like these ones and I am keeping them. 
Ooh, my Feral palette. I love this palette from Menagerie Cosmetics. This is the original version of it. They replaced, I think, these two shades at some point, but I love these shimmers. This matte yellow is like the best matte yellow. Like, oh my God, like, look at that. So good. I am keeping this because this is, this was also a gift from Josh a couple years ago. Now I'm gonna go through, I don't wanna get rid of any of these. I don't think I wanted to clutter any of these ones because they're expensive and the formula is good, even though I'm really not buying from Anastasia anymore. But I have Subculture, which is, if you've seen one of my, uh, any of my videos where I like rank my eyeshadow palettes, this is in my top three. I, d I love the color story too much, but I think I'll move it up here because I will want more space back there. Um, I have Modern Renaissance. Oh no, this is Norvina. This is the original Norvina. Again, one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. I love it. And I wish that they would just stick with that and not be as shady as they've been this year, but I'm keeping that palette. Like I like it too much. Modern Renaissance. This is definitely out of date and I should probably throw it away, but this was like first Christmas with Josh. So I'm not getting rid of it because it was a gift from him and I like it. Sultry, this one I bought myself. This is the Sultry palette. And this is one of my only like true kind of like cool neutral palettes besides obviously Bloom. And then these last two were gifts also from Josh. Um, the Jackie Ina palette is definitely the best palette that ABH has put out probably since, at least since Sultry. Like th this was the best palette they put out last year and it's, it's so good. Like it's held up. Lituation I've used recently a lot. Pinker is is so beautiful. Like this shade right here. Oh, it swatches. I, my fingers are dry, but that's a really pretty color. <laughs> Not getting rid of that. And then I have Riviera, which is one of my other bright palettes. Like it's got a good selection of brights in here and I'm keeping this one as well, even though I don't use it a whole lot. I do... I got it as a gift and I want to use it. I want to use it more. I will challenge myself to use it. The one thing is that sometimes it's hard kind of keeping palettes that you objectively like, but then you don't really want to support them anymore. You know, it's just like a catch 22. It's like, I don't want to waste this product that I've already purchased because of something that the brand owner or the brand has done because I still like it. And it's like, I already spent the money on it. So I definitely don't really use these on my channel or if I do, I'm not like sharing it in the video, but I'm, keeping them because objectively I still like them. Now Gemini is again one of my top three favorite eyeshadow palettes of all time. I don't think I mean none of the other palettes that I have from from Melt are as good as this. So I mean this is the at least one that I'm keeping. I love this palette. I feel like it's one of it. This was one of the first palettes like I really really wanted. I saw online and I did like an online wait in line thing and I just I got it and I was super excited about it. So I'm keeping this. Um, for 20, I need to use more. Um, I haven't used it a ton. The color story is still very gorgeous to me, but I really kind of need to finesse with the eyeshadows. They're not nearly as easy to blend as uh, Gemini. And I just, I do, I do love the color story in here. Like this is my kind of color story for sure. Put it back here. However, smoke sessions. This has not been touched in a while, if you couldn't tell. Let's see. All right, yeah. This palette, I truly don't know what went wrong with it. If I tried to swatch these right now, it would crumble all over the place. I just, I literally don't even use this. This sits on my desk, just taking up space. And I don't think I would be able to repress these. Like it's past me getting like a discount. I might be able to take these two out and put them in a palette, but these shimmers are useless. Like the shimmers are absolutely useless. I might try and do that and depot these and put them in um, a other palette because I do like these shades. I like the color story of this. I really do. I wanted to love this, but the fact that I had to press down these shadows and every single time I've opened it up, they've like expanded and they're beautiful finishes too. Oh, that one's feeling real gross. Um, they're really, really pretty, but I don't, I just can't justify keeping all of these in my drawer. Every time I open it up, they just crumble all over the place. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try and depot these. Those are going in a depot bin. Okay, this drawer is done. 
Hello, lipsticks. I have some Lush body powders I need to get out of the way. <laughs> For my last declutter, I got rid of a lot of lipsticks and actually some, I got rid of some of my Lush lip scrubs. Um, I'm keeping all of these ones for now. I do really like the lip scrubs. I should probably take one out and put it in my purse, but I have like six of these. Again, that I probably don't need. So I have a couple of liquid lipsticks here first off. I like the Dose of Colored one more than the Colored Rain, and these are, these are very similar. I cannot decide. I think I'm gonna keep these for now, and then as I go through, we'll get rid of some. This is a NARS lipstick that is very, what is this, Volga? This is old, let me see how this swatches. That actually still swatches really well. I just don't wear, I like I have all these colors in here that I just literally never wear. That's on the fence too. This one, Screamer from ColourPop, that's like the same shade, but this one's more matte. Hmm. I feel like this would re- I could give this to my friend. She would enjoy this. Next, I have Wet n Wild. What is this? I literally don't even know. Is this Mochalicious? I think this is Mochalicious. It's still pretty good. Like this is still a good lipstick. Like I'm keeping, okay. I need to swatch some of these next to each other because I have a lot of colors that are very similar. Oh God, that's so similar. Jesus. This one's browner. Okay, so yeah. I'm keeping Mochalicious and I'm gonna keep the dose of colors but I'm gonna gift the colored rain one. Okay, next. Next we have, oh, this is Bane from Melt. It's a really great black lipstick. I am keeping it. Well, I have two liquid lipsticks from um, Wet n Wild, and I think I'm just gonna keep the black one because I literally never wear this one, but this one's quite old. So I might actually just like toss it because it's probably like several years expired, but I am gonna keep the black one because I do still like this black liquid lipstick. I have a few of the formerly known as uh, Makeup Monsters liquid lipsticks. This is another one of my favorite liquid lip formulas and it's, it's pretty good. Like this is a really good formula. And I have four of these. That's another thing why I got rid of that other red one because I have this one also from that. Oh, that's like super similar. God, I have so many dark reds. Maybe I don't need Volca. Putting this off to the side for now. I have the green and the orange ones and then I have a gray one. I really, really like those ones a lot. Um, oh, this one is also from <laughs> fucking Wet n Wild. What shade does this look like? Oh my God. I have so many colors that are so similar. This one right here also, this is an Urban Decay one. This is like 1995. This is also like, oh my God. <laughs> Why do I have so many shades like that? That's hilarious. I don't like this one from Wet n Wild. This is Give Me Mocha. Not a fan as much anymore. But this Urban Decay lipstick, this is one of, this is the lipstick that I bought when Kylie Jenner's lips got really trendy and uh, I wanted to have something that was similar. I bought this one and then the Bite lipstick in um, this one, the Glossé. These two shades were my Kylie Jenner lip colors. This I actually need to put back in the drawer. These two, obsessed with them. So I'm keeping this Urban Decay one and that Bite one. This is a NARS red pencil. What is this one, Cruella? That's a good red. That's like the matte red lip, matte lip pencils. I do like it and I don't have a lot of reds, but I don't wear reds. <laughs> I truly don't wear reds anymore. But this is tiny and I prefer it to some of the other red lipsticks I know I think I have in here. So for now I'm gonna leave it. This black liquid lipstick from Black Moon Cosmetics is okay, but I think I like the, let me, let me, let me put these next to each other. So there's this one and then I have my Wet n Wild one. They're virtually the same. Like they're the same color of black. And then I have my Bane lipstick. This is the Melt one. I'm just testing my black lipsticks next to each other. So they're obviously different. I feel like this one has more blue to it. This has more brown. I feel like this one looks better on me. This one's like a cooler black. I don't know if you can tell the difference. So I'm keeping the melt one. I think I'm gonna keep the wet and wild one and then gift the black one. And I have a nude one of this same lipstick that I just literally don't even like that much cause it's like drying on my lips. I'm gonna give these to my friend. I have NYX Circe, a great nude, all around great nude. <laughs> Obviously we haven't been wearing lipsticks that much this year. So my lipstick collection hasn't been touched much. And then another nude I have, which is what, Honeycomb from Bite? Ooh, 
This is another good, oh, such a good nude. That one I'm also keeping because I love it so much. <laughs> I know I have another nude somewhere around here. I think in my makeup bag. I have the other Sophia lipstick. I'm keeping, um, what is it? It's like a, a nude lipstick from the Sophia and ColourPop thing that I like too much. So I'm keeping most of those. This was in this drawer. This is the Suva Beauty Hydro Liner uh, in Scrunchy. I don't know if I wanna, I feel like my friend could get a lot of fun use out of this and like playing around with it. So I think I'm gonna get rid of it because I just don't use it that much. And I like the idea of having like a palette of these. So maybe I'll get the Midas ones. I have a lipstick from Lunatic Cosmetic Labs and this lipstick has barely seen much love. And I think it's because just the color doesn't look, like I look dead. Like it's a pretty color, don't get me wrong. I just never wear it. Like that just doesn't look good on me, like at all. Like this, this up here, no. I think I'm going to be getting rid of that one. Okay, I have a color, 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 bleh, couple color pop lipsticks. I have Chi Chi. And then I have Climax. Climax is a blue, which I still love. Like this is, a, these are the lipsy, lippy sticks. I am obsessed with these. And then Chi Chi is like a orangey coral. This one's real bright. Like I never wear that shade. And I think I still have Lady Danger in here from Mac, which I prefer. So getting rid of that one. I have one of these velvet ink things from Peri Para. Oh, these are like those like stains. I haven't used this much, but I still like the idea of it. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep this for now. I have two Besame lipsticks. I have Chocolate Kiss and Red Velvet. Chocolate Kiss is just what you think it is. It's a chocolatey brown. And then Red Velvet is a red shade. I feel like I would get more use out of the, the chocolate one, the brown one, than the red. Because I don't necessarily like really shiny red lipsticks. I'm going to keep the chocolate kiss, but get rid of the red. I have one of my lipsticks from Proper Beauty. My other one is in my makeup bag. This is in the shade Driven, and it's a beautiful deep chocolate brown. My God, look at that. It's like a true, like, neutral brown. It's so pretty. And the components on these, I love these. Prop is a black owned beauty brand that I've been really excited to try and try more things when we can wear lipsticks again, <laughs> when it makes more sense to wear lipsticks out in public. I have two Fenty lipsticks. I have PMS and Midnight Wasabi. Midnight Wasabi is weird. It's green, but it's like, that's really similar to that other color that I have. And then PMS is like a dark, dark, dark brown. That's similar to the proper one, but it's matte. I think I'm gonna give the green one to my friend. I don't think I'm gonna keep the green one. I just don't wear it enough. No, get rid of the green one. You're getting so much stuff, girl. Milani Matte Tender. I literally never wear colors like this anymore. Like ever. I've just come to realize, yeah, no, I'm never gonna wear that shade. <laughs> ever, never, never. This is one of only two uh, Chanel products I've ever purchased. This is in the shade Confidential. It's fancy. I want to keep it just for that reason. It's a really nice kind of coral pink shade for when I want to do that. This is about as bright as I would probably go with pinks. Um, but it's a really nice formula. It's just really fancy. It like clicks up. It's so cute. Okay. So I have this NARS lipstick in Afghan red. Oh, why is it sticky? Why is that sticky? That's uncomfortable. Um, this is a really fun shade, but this is, uh, ooh, that feels bad. That's sticky. I don't like that at all. Um, I'm running out of space on my arm. This isn't a bad shade. I just don't think I ever wear this. Like I have Brucey from ColourPop and Sophia. And this one, let's see, what color green is that? That's a bluer green. This one I seem to remember it kind of runs. It kind of just runs into the lip lines. Like it doesn't look that nice on the lips. I might kind of play around with it because I don't want to give two green lipsticks to my friend, but I might play around with this one just to see. I have MAC Stone. I love this lipstick. Don't get me wrong. Like I bought this like years and years and years ago. I love this shade. Like it's so nice. Like it's cooler than this Urban Decay one. Like these two are like my favorites. I'm not gonna get rid of any of my MAC lipsticks right now until I can actually take them back to MAC, but I will show you the ones that I have. I have this really old one called Enchanted One. It's so old. There's another nude. This one's almost too warm. 
This one I think I am waiting to bring back to Mac. I have two mini ones that I got in like packs at Sephora. Um, this is, what is this one? Oh, a tiny velvet teddy. Um, put that here. Yeah, I have a lot of nudes. Nudes, 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 nudes. And this one's Russian red. Oh, wait. Do I like that red more than the NAR? No, I actually like the NARS one better. I feel like I'm not gonna use this that much. I'm gonna put it off to the side for now. I have Viva Lam 1 which is one of the oldest, actually could be the oldest lipstick that I still own. And this I just keep for sentimental value because it was like the first lipstick I bought and it still works like literally probably 10 years ago at this point, it still works. <laughs> Um, I have Patisserie. This was one I did a back to Mac with a couple years back. I really like this lipstick. Like I actually do like it's a kind of sheer peachy pink and keeping that one. Oh, I have the one and only Biscotti. Um, oh, this mint, this magnet isn't even like working anymore from Bite. It's this like fun. I have so many shades like this. Literally that is the same. I don't need this. The magnet is like completely like not, yeah, it keeps falling out. <laughs> That's a pain in the butt. Next we have, this is Hey Boy Hey from Patrick Starr's collection. And this one's fine. It's just another shade that I don't really wear a lot. Like it's this kind of fuchsia shade. This one, I actually think my friend would like. I'm just basically giving her like all the makeup from the Patrick Starr collection. I have Rebel and Plumful. Rebel is very similar to that shade. Let me see if I can. Rebel's brighter though. Rebel is this one. The Patrick one is this one. I like Rebel better. Plumful is another one I did for Back to Mac. And that is this one. It's a more sheer kind of plummy pink shade. That one I like. Okay, the last two are Cream Cup, which is one of my most used lipsticks. Cream Cup is just like a nude, nudie pink. Keeping that for now. And then uh, Lady Danger. This is the one that I much prefer to, oh yeah, Chi Chi is way more orange. Lady Danger is way better. Like if I'm gonna do an orangey shade, I like this one. Keeping that. Two more, we're down to the wire. I have 710 from Melt. Ah, this is such a fun shade. Look at that, it's like a, it's like a, like a mustardy, like baby poop brown. <laughs> I love this color. It's so weird. And then I have this ColourPop one in Y2K, which again, I have a type clearly. Let's see where it fits up here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Why do I have so many of these? <sighs> this one, I don't think I wear a lot and I don't think I like that much. So I think I'm going to actually give this to my friend too, that I think she will like more. Like I have too many shades like that. Like I don't need that many shades. <laughs> and that's the bite lipstick. Ooh, I'll do lip glosses too. I might just drop the lip glosses in this drawer because I don't necessarily want to have to have a cup full of lip glosses. Um, I have a Midas lip gloss. This is in the shade Strawberry. It's from the new Icing Glosses collection. I love it. I have this Melt gloss, but I think this one is called Johnny Rose. Yeah, this is Johnny Rose. Yeah, I really like this lip gloss too. It's very, very, very shiny. Um, I have a ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Champagne Mommy. I don't ever use this lip gloss. I really don't. Like, I'm not a fan of the Ultra Glossy Lip formulas. That is going away. I have my uh, lip cream in Coalition from Mented Cosmetics. Ooh, this one's just the, the sound of it. Ooh, it's so nice. This is such a pretty shade. So pretty. Ugh. I like this a lot. Mented is another black owned makeup brand that I've tried this year and I very much enjoyed. Glossier, I have Franken Gloss this. I have taken one of my other Glossier products and just squeezed it into the gloss and now it has like a really light kind of like, I'm running out of room, like light kind of pinky tint to it. Thank you, Nisa. <laughs> Ooh, I have my Bite French Press lip gloss. I think this is actually like kind of gone bad. I feel like every time I wear this, like I get like the weird lines in my lips and it doesn't smell good anymore. I think this one's expired. I have this, I have two, 
two, just two. I had three. I, I have the third one sitting around here somewhere. Two uh, Pat McGrath lip glosses that I bought in like a little mini set. I really like these, so I'm keeping them and they're tiny. I like them a lot. I have a NYX Glam lip gloss. I feel like this is very similar to, oh yeah, this is way too similar to this next one, which is Sparkle On from Midas. Oh yeah, Sparkle On is way better. <laughs> this is from the Smoky Glow collection that came out earlier this year. And I don't need this one from ColourPop because they are too similar and this one isn't as pretty. And then this one also from Midas. This is a really fun, like pigmented pinky red gloss. I like this one. If you really like pigmented glosses, this one's really pretty. And that's all the lip glosses. So I'm gonna put this back in the drawer. I haven't touched these eyeliners and lip liners, but I don't have that many. So I'm just keeping all of these. Oh, what is this? Becca highlighter? Oh, a Becca highlighter. Ooh, this one actually I might get rid of. I think I am. It's not that exciting. I'm getting rid of this Becca highlighter. This is a uh, prismatic amethyst. I got this in Octoly like years ago and I just don't like it that much. Okay, um, now on to, okay, top drawer. Keeping this Nobla blush. This is Gotham, beautiful contour shade. I'm keeping this Milani. <laughs> Luminoso, beautiful blush. I love it too much. I don't have that many blushes, so I'm not gonna get rid of that many. This Milk Highlighter though, I've had major pain on this and I just never reach for it. I feel like I wanted to try and use it up at the beginning of the year, but I just, obviously 2020 happened and like I wasn't wearing a lot of makeup anywhere. So I think this one is gonna finally get the boot. I have a few more ColourPop Super Shock Shadows in my makeup bag that are like, I think I have Frog and Ritz both in there. Um, and I like both of those, so I'm not getting rid of them. Um, I have Bay. It's blue. It's broken though. Oh, that is, ooh, that's dry. Ooh, that's dry as hell. God, I wish these didn't dry out so bad. This one is Midnight. That one's also dry. Oh yeah, these are bad. These might all need to go. Um, this one is in Weenie. This one's one of my faves too. Ah, this one's not as bad. This one's actually still, ah, uh, I think I'm just gonna, oh, the, here's Frog. I knew I had one in here. This is Frog. Frog's a really fun topper shade. I think that might be the only one I end up keeping. Yeah, Frog, Frog's just for like sparkly on top of the eye. Like that's it. Telepathy. Ooh, wait, is this one still? can't decide. I never use these. I'm getting rid of all of these. Yeah, I'm getting rid of all of these ones because I just, I'm not going to use them. I'm really not. The highlighters on the other hand, what is this? Lunch Money and Hippo. Hippo is purple. I don't think I'm going to use this one either because I have other purple highlighters. I'm not going to use this one, but I think I do like Lunch Money. Like Lunch Money is pretty. Yeah, I'm going to keep Lunch Money and that's it. Because I also have Flexitarian. Flexitarian I also will keep because I like it. <laughs> I'm pretty positive all these eyeshadows from Stila are just dried the fuck out. Yeah, that's just like crumbling away. They're really pretty, but they're crumbly. Oh, that one's not that bad. That's so weird that the bigger one dried out a lot faster than these minis. Because Wanderlust, I had Wanderlust for like less than a year. And it, yeah, that's like still really wet. Okay, what's this one? Kitten? Kitten continues to be... The only thing from Stila that really holds up. I have a Fenty blush. This is Sangria Sunset and Mimosa Sunrise. Beautiful, keeping it, obsessed with it. Um, I have this, that just broke. Okay, well I'm getting rid of that because it broke. This highlighter I got from Bitter Lace Beauty like several years ago. It's so weird. Like it's a Hocus Pocus themed one and like, I'm not gonna wear that. Like I'm really not. Like it's just like a weird green shade that just doesn't, it's not flattering. Like I'm not gonna use that. I have Comet Catcher from Kaleidos. I love this highlighter. I just got um, some other one. I got another one and I really like these. These are really fun highlighters. I'm keeping that. And then this is Fire Crystal and Lightning Dust and I'm going to attempt, well, I will finish this. I will finish this at one point. Will it be this year? Probably not, but by far, <laughs> I think, is it my favorite highlighter I've ever used? Maybe. I have three mascaras from ColourPop. These are 
I have the pink one, the purple one, and the yellow one. Really enjoy these. I think these are fun. I'm keeping them. <laughs> and then I have a sleek blush. This one is very sparkly and like peachy gold. That's still a really nice blush. I mean, I'm not wearing blush a whole lot right now, but this is still a really nice blush. I think I'm gonna keep that one for now. It's tiny. Um, and then I have my uh, Samantha March collab with Ofra. This is a really nice highlighter, especially if you are fair tone like me. I actually enjoy this a lot, so I'm keeping that. I have my Melt blush in Lynx. This is one of the blush lights. I really like this formula. I really do. They're very shiny. Like it's, it's almost a highlight, but it's a really fun shade. Like this one I feel like is kind of similar to Max Warm Soul. It's this one right here. I'm running out of places to swatch, but I like this blush quite a bit. I have my Moonlighter, Moon Lobster highlighter from Black Moon Cosmetics. So pretty. <laughs> Keeping this, it's like pure white. I have NARS Taos. I think I called it Taos in the last one of these. This one, it's like a really fun, like burnt orange blush. I like that one still. I don't use it a lot, but I haven't used much makeup at all this year. I've kind of stuck with the same stuff. I do really like this blush actually. I'm keeping this. Um, I have Max Blush Baby, which is by far my oldest blush in existence. Uh, <laughs> and I still haven't finished it. I'm keeping that mainly just because I kind of want to see how long I can keep it and it still not be disgusting. Um, I have my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk because I'm a good beauty guru. This is Cover FX Warm Honey. I have Pink Dahlia in my makeup bag and I'm obviously keeping both of these because they were my favorite blush formula and my probably my favorite product of 2019, like to be honest. And then I have my one Hourglass product. Um, again, I really like this blush trio. I really wish that Hourglass would actually take the time to be more inclusive with their shade ranges because it's been a consistent thing that people have asked about for a while. So this is the only thing from Hourglass that I have. I haven't bought anything else from them, but I like this blush, so I'm, I'm keeping it. <laughs> I have this BH Cosmetics White Concealer. I actually am keeping this because in case I need it. Um, I have two of my Glossier Cloud Paints. Um, I have Storm and Puff. I really like these actually for cream products, for liquid products, I quite enjoy these. This one is dried out all the hell. Like this is disgustingly dried out. Like the fact that this got so, like I, this is ridiculous. Like I didn't even f get close to finishing this and it dried out like crazy. And this is such a pretty color too. This is Wanderlust from Stila, but they just like, like that's so dry. So this I'm getting rid of because that is a disappointment. I have a few pigments and glitters. I have two MAC pigments. This is Melon and then, um, what is this? A Old Gold. I really like these and they're the only like pigments that I really have besides this Inglot like kind of glittery thing. I need to use this actually. This is a really pretty fun shade. Ooh, ooh yeah, that's fun. Okay, I'm gonna keep these because I actually wanna kind of play with this. My hands are disgusting. Um, I have a blue glitter. Why do I have a blue glitter? Is it like holographic? Is it like blue hollow? Yeah, I'm not gonna use this. <laughs> I'm really not. So I'm gonna give this to my friend. And then I have two milk eyeshadow pigment things. Um, I actually am not a huge fan of how these make my la my eyes look. I feel like they kind of end up looking really like crepey. They're very pigmented, like you will see, like these are obscenely pigmented, but something about the finish on them, they just kind of look, they emphasize all of the texture and like the fine lines and stuff in my eyes and they're just not that flattering. So I think I might gift these as well. Cause I just don't ever use, like this isn't the right tone. Like I'm not a huge fan of this tone on my eyes in this product. Um, this one's better. The purple's better, but yeah, I've just grown to not necessarily like this kind of like rose gold without any sort of mattes and I don't really use them. So that is also going to you. 
And then last but not least, we have my Too Faced um, <laughs> bronzer. This is the Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer. Very well loved and very well used. Um, I don't use it a lot much anymore just because I've like found more bronzers, but I do want to see if I can like really use this up because this is one of like maybe two products I've ever purchased from Too Faced. And uh, I still like it. Like I still do like it. I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you would like to see more of my content, please hit the subscribe button and then give this video a like if you did like it. Um, check out the rest of my videos for Vlogmas. I'm doing a video every single day. I will have a playlist down in the description as well as a uh, song of the day, which I will figure out soon. I just haven't figured it out yet. Um, enjoy my hand movements. <laughs> so um, yeah, I have a lot of space. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you're having a good one and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.